Hey, how's it going, everyone? So, I just wanted to show this Wishing Tree event that, yeah, it's for paying customers um, only, really, because it, it the uh, involved currency is red, uh, pink diamonds or blue diamonds. Um, and what you're supposed to do is configure your Wishing Tree um, according to your liking and hope for the best. Um, I really only do like the first two draws and then after that I don't think yeah, I, I, I want to spend like more than that um, and I just wanted to help like figure out what you you know what are the best choices and I have here on the bot on the bottom most tier which is the premium wishing pond I never do completion reward like have it automatically fill things up because the this is what matters the most for me since I only do, really do like the first two draws um, and I want a shot at getting any of the following. Um, I do not do uh, the headwear shard gift pack because of the measly stats that these um, gears c provide and they don't synergize with your talent tree at all. Um, you, I mean, there's no branch in your talent tree for costumes. Well, there is one for your gods, uh, for your god skills. There's one for your mounts. There's one for your partner. There's a talent passive for your, you know, uh, for your spirit. Um, let me show you that right real quick. There's nothing for... Um, there is nothing for costumes. So, really, costumes are the worst. Uh, you know, thing to invest in, um, especially if they don't even have like percentage-based bonuses. So, yeah, if if you have like a strong, wing, you know, a lot of wings, then you want to invest here. If you want have a lot of godhood-based stats, meaning you've upgraded each stage in your godhood at least up to 15, then you know, basically that's what what's the that's the talent tree skill that you want to follow. So yeah, I'd never choose this option, especially in any event. So um, the next one is like bound diamonds, a flat amount, which isn't really you know uh, impressive. Um, these tickets they come naturally anyway. This one's like a really stupid one too. It's one of the game things that the game might even give you for pressing this and having it automatically configured. Um, this is re a really stupid thing to choose because if you go down here, you can get it, five of that here because there's five. It gives you five boxes, and that, that same upgrade is there. I don't choose bead hunt tickets. There's a different way to get those. Um, the baby, you know, baby milk is not really something. You can get those naturally. You can get everything else naturally except for this and this um, and the, these are although you can get these um, normally in game but they are far and few in between like 20 of those in in a day so having 150 and you'll need a lot of those and towards the end game and bead hunt um, and towards um, you know fusing your beads together so I always keep that in then the last one probably in this set this is a costume color die which doesn't give anything. Silver, not really that impressive because it just gives you, it even gives you like blue gear, which isn't something to write home about. So actually the best, the next best thing, what is this? Nope, not that one either. Is this one because it gives you five of those. And um, I use, since I have a lot of uh, spirits, I typically use is to um, reimburse star sand All right. and I'll show you what that is later um, the next stage up you know I really don't give this too much thought but if if you were to ask me um, the weapon oh this is only a costume sorry I oh, definitely the bound diamonds here that's a lot the awakened the baby awakened that is you need to draw 50 times off of the Daltix to to, to get that. Um, and the Reaper set Regalia because I've never seen that uh, obtainable anywhere else in the game. I only have, you know, after three weeks of playing, I've only got one of those. 
Um, why don't I choose the orange artifact? You can choose the orange artifact if you don't have an orange artifact yet, but if you do, um, you might get a duplicate. So, yeah, it depends on where you are in the game, really. Um, the, re the, the red partner gear, maybe. Um, these two spirits, uh, they only give you one third of the needed, you know, the required amount. So I would skip that and then. Maybe the next best thing is if you don't really have, you know, not really after completing a Reaper set. I would go for the blue artifact god keys. That gives you a better shot at getting artifacts and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, definitely stay away from this one because if you do, you still have a chance to get purple, which is pretty pretty easy to get in the bound, you know, in the in the artifact hunt. Um, and then this is the same one. So that's how I would configure this. Um, and then into the ult ultimate f uh, wishing punt. Right. So again, this is just a wish. I mean, you're gonna spend anywhere up up to more than two hundred dollars to try and get this. Um, I would definitely choose any god. Uh, that's Uh, boxes. No, definitely not. Uh oh, yeah, that red artifact is looking nice because I don't have one. And this is wedding material. Not really that impressive if you get that. I don't even know what this one does yet. So, not the um, red bead, you know, would, would be nice, but you can use your other resources to actually redeem. Um, this was a pink one, then I would go for that. But so from here, I think what the best you can get this in game easily if you do your, you know, your your boss hunts regular. You can just uh reclaim this g4 wings as well i'm not i'm not sure if that's available but through the bounty points store but let's check out later let's check that out later so the best one so far i think is this red artifact if ever you're f you're feeling lucky and you want to get that so that's how i would do it um then you click on confirm reward and see that the first one is 68. And don't click this; it's gonna undo <laughs> everything. Um, so 68 strawberries or whatever that is, and or 68 um, diamonds. So I would, I'm hoping for this or this, and then I'm wishing for because I say wish because it's not gonna happen. So let's go ahead and get the first one. It gives me advanced materials. Of course, it's gonna give me the worst one for. <laughs> that it can right and then i'm gonna go for the other one and then i'm done so yeah ruins fatigue potion the next probably the next one is going to give me is this one um but i don't think that's i don't want to spend 300 or top up like 360 just for that so those are the two if it gave me like few souls i would have been happy if it gave me this i would be even more happy because that's super rare um yeah so that's how you do your wing uh, your wing, your wishing tree. I mean, that's how I would configure it. Let me know in the comments down below um, about the higher tiers. If you're an old player, maybe you have some advice on wh what to configure for that. Um, yeah, cheers.